We're going to go into the push. So we come down to the push and pull. So in this part, it's a little bit more learning now. Okay? You can learn it or you can, don't have to learn it. Okay? You can have the chin I solve all the problem already. But now you have to learn a little bit more detailed thing. Okay? What color, what disease, what to do. Okay? A little bit more complicated, but it's still simple, only working. If you understand few organs, you back and forth, it's the same organ again. Okay? So the first thing you have to know that you become a, a transmitting tower. So you first thing, you get your energy right, intention right. Chi right, heart right. So we call good chi, good heart, and what? Good intention. You get this three things right first. Always. Good chi, good heart, good intention. And when you send this one up to the universe, what you multiply? Hmm? What you multiply? Good chi, good heart, good intention. The same. If you have very negative, very negative chi, very, very head to head heart, and very bad intention, you send it out, universe will multiply them. Right? Universe don't know like fire. If you put the fire in the stove, what do you do? It cook your food, it warm your house, right? If you put the fires on the house, what happened? Huh? It burn your house, kill the people, and burn the whole village, right? Universe is energy, is the force. You multiply them with good chi, good heart, good intention, it multiply. You multiply with bad intention, it multiply. So, we are the one that determine a lot. So, very important. Good chi, good heart, good intention, antenna go up, multiply. The first thing, you first. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay? That was something you talk about you first. So first thing, you connect with the force, and we hold on the ground. The universe is so abundant. So what, what we mean by abundance? It's so much. Right? If I take first, what happened? It's still very abundant, right or wrong? So I make sure I get connect first. I feel the force connect. The second thing, I connecting to the person. The third thing, I connect to my palm. Now, how many you want? You can have 100 people and connect them. You can have 1,000 people connect them. That's it. Okay? So, when you multiply, when you multiply in the universe, it's there. That's all. And it's so much abundant, we only use the whole Universe that we can see, only 4%. Okay? So even you multiply a lot, not even 0.000000000, I don't know how many zero, 1%. That's it. The universe is still so much energy there. Okay? The circum are more attracting the red color, and the trope is more attracting green color and blue color. So the patterns are the same. Tan Tien, heart, mind, out, spiral, da one, two, three. If you have two people, three people, four people, it's the same. And the theory is very simple. You must good chi, good heart, good intention, multiply them, and bring it down. Okay? First thing, you charge yourself first. If you don't get receive the chi, you lose your chi. And remember the next thing, the universe are so abundance. Okay? You can have many direct lines, the universe still have so much energy up there. That's why we call the grace of the universe. Okay? Under the grace of the universe. It's so abundant, unacceptable, 
and the universe never need anything back from us. It's so unacceptable. But when we receive, you must what? Hmm? Give. Okay? When you receive, you must give. Very important. Receive and give. Okay? Very important. Okay? While it like the crown. Okay? Crown chi. While it like. Always remember to always remember to to connecting to the earth. Very important. Grounding, grounding. Now, if you can make a, conne- a connection with a tree, a connection with a river, we have a lot of river here, <laughs> stream and river, and especially a running stream, running stream, and a tree, a tree that in the, on the running stream. Uh, we be regarding that this running water, tree near the running water, it can take our sick energy and just pass through it and recycle it. Okay? So sometimes when you pick up a sick energy and you think about a running water and a tree and you just send it to the running water, send it to the tree. And it seems like immediately take away your sick energy. So the running water is very important and the tree. So sometimes it's good to, you have to beginning, the first time you have to beginning, sit and, um, on, a, on a river or a tree, a, a river or a stream. And you meditate and you make what we call communion, connection, a communion with the tree, with the river. And you make a communion with the tree. So, and every day when you meditate, just think about it. Take a second. Think about the river. Think about the tree. When you think about it, what happens? You make connection. That's all. That's how God can exist. <laughs> okay? And the way that is very powerful. Here, the statue. Here, the God. You picture about the God. And you ask God helping you, God will help you. Okay? If you have a dog, you picture your dog and you pray of your dog. When you ask your dog to help you, the dog also help you. Or cat also help you. So whatever you are make connection, it gives you the power. Okay? And that's how the system are work that way. When they make you believe on something, and you believe it. Oftentimes it's you the one that make it happen because you're connecting with the force. The most important part, you have to understand you're connecting with the force. I mean, uh, for me, I exposed to so many statues, temples, synagogues, and everything. Everyone has power. <laughs> so, after you expose to a few hundred thousand, a few thousand of it, you know, it seems like they are the same. <laughs> so, you, sometimes you, it seems like no planet also. Okay? Earth and planets. So you're working with the planet. Sometimes you want to send them far away. <laughs> Don't come back anymore. Send them to the... So when you, we're going to go to the push and pull. Push, disperse to the planet. Planet really similar like Earth. So you send them right to the planet. You know? And they are very hard to find way back. <laughs> you have to send them very far away. Otherwise, they always find a way back. We have cat also. Cat, they also remember the, the cat. They very good remember the, the place. They stay here. We get it to the city. After a few, sometimes one day they come back. I don't know how they find their way back here. <laughs> it's good they eat the rat, but they also eat the red lizards and the, and all the kiko. They eat them all. They have nothing to eat. They eat them all. <laughs> they like and the bird also. It all the bird, you know. Uh, actually, uh, one or two times you have the idea. You, when you close your eye, you feel the see the liver, you see the tree. That's all. And it works very, very powerful. 
when you pick up some sick energy, think about the river, think about the tree, and feel the river flowing, it takes your sick energy out. And it really takes out. Our picture, our voice, and our frequency, it's just like a country code, a city code, a telephone number. Okay? It's the same. So when you picture the person, remember how you look, and you are aware of uh, the, the higher self, and you may connect, and you connect. That's all. Okay? And whatever you do, you affect them. But how could your mind power and how could your chi? It's all cow that way. How could your projection? It's all cow that way. Okay? So, um, there are many different energy. We have the um, cosmic chi, earth chi. Earth chi is, you feel it. Now, sometimes, you know, you look at the, if you don't look, look at the top of the mountain, okay, in the afternoon, and you see the top first, and you move your, your focus on the side. You focus on the side, but your corner of your eye, corner of the eye have a special lens. So you corner of the eye, look at the top of the mountain, and you start to see like energy on the top of the mountain. And there is the earth force go up, and you feel the he a heavenly force come down, and they interact like that. You can see it in the corner of the eye. You see them. You see people all around also. You focus on it, and you look on the side, and you use the corner of the eye, look at it. And you start to see all around the person. Okay? We can try that on. And the nature of the chi and the fire element chi. Okay? And we have the white chi. Uh, white chi is contain every energy and can use for any, any healing. Any healing is okay. Blue chi, we already talked about blue chi. Blue light, okay? It's cool. And the, um, stop the bleeding, stop the pain, stop the inflammation. Green chi can um, it like, uh, detoxify, take out the, the uh, uh, take out the clot, take out the pain also, clean them out. And, um, and the red chi, red chi only for, you want to rewrite the cells. After you have wound, it's, it's finished. No more pain, no more infection. You use the red chi. The red chi will make the cells split faster. That means the recover of the wound and it grow faster. And um, if you have a weak organ, if you check here, for say liver, check. You check the lung, oh, big. When you come out to the liver, phew, go like that. Liver getting weak. So, red chi, right into the liver. So any organ have no aura, is weak. Okay. And uh, the orange chi, we don't use that much. Uh, you can use them. Uh, you can use them together with, it's a very stubborn womb or you want to clean out more, clear, more, you can use the orange light, okay? And the yellow light are more connecting to the nerve and the bone. Yellow light more connecting to the nerve and the bones, okay? So bone problem, use the yellow light, help. And the violet light have all the light contained and can be programmed, okay? Can be programmed. And uh, in our universe, the Big Dipper and the whole universe will have a lot. Okay. Golden Chi. Um, golden Chi very similar with violet light. So um, if you use the violet light, uh, sometimes you can use golden Chi the same. Very similar light. Okay. 